Welcome to Prime at 9. These are the headlines. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat has died in the helicopter crash near Kunur in Tamil Nadu, the Indian Air Force confirmed this evening. The central government has announced tomorrow as National Morning Day as a mark of respect to CDS Bipin Rawat. The Oting Citizens Office condemned Union Home Minister Amit Shah's statement on the Moan ambush presented in the parliament. The union said the statement was totally false and fabricated. In a communique from the office of the Oting Citizen, it stated that they are ready to compromise with situations to lose their heads and take the enemy's heads. Now for the news and details. The Indian, Ar the Indian Air Force has confirmed that Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat has died in the helicopter crash near Kunur in Tamil Nadu on Wednesday. He was among the 14 people who were on board, including his wife and staff members. 13 people have succumbed to the crash, including CDS Rawat, Madhulika Rawat and 11 others. The body of the defense chief will be brought to Delhi tomorrow. Around noon today, an IAF Mi-17 V-5 helicopter with a crew of four members carrying the CDS and nine other passengers met with a tragic accident near Kunur. Tamil Nadu, the IAF added. The sole survivor is Group Captain Varun Singh, directing staff at Defence Services Staff College. He is being treated for his injuries at the military hospital in Wellington, the IAF said. The black box of the MI-17 V-5 helicopter has not yet been found. Some parts of the chopper have been recovered. The investigators have secured the crash site. Tributes for General Rawat have begun pouring in with President Ramnath Kovin, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Home Minister Amit Shah and External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar leading the way. Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, Congress MP Rahul Gandhi and the NCP Sharad Pawar also tweeted. The Prime Minister-led Cabinet Committee on Security was briefed on Wednesday about a military helicopter crash that led to the death of Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat and other defence personnel near Kunur in Tamil Nadu. Besides the Prime Minister, the meeting was attended by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Home Minister Amit Shah, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar, official sources stole news agency PTI. The sources said that the top cabinet brass expressed condolences on the death of General Rawat. During the cabinet committee on security led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, it was decided that as a mark of respect, the government will announce national mourning on Thursday. A discussion was also held over selecting the next chief of defense staff designate. Union Minister Anurag Thakur on Wednesday said that the Union Cabinet has approved continuation of Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana for another three years. He told a media briefing on Cabinet decisions that the extension has been granted beyond March 2021 and till March 2024. The scheme will ensure housing for all in rural areas, he said. A government spokesperson said the extension of the scheme will help in construction of remaining 155.75 lakh houses. It will help achieve a target of 2.95 crore pakka houses. The total financial implication for the remaining construction stands at rupees 1,98,581 crore, the spokesperson said on Twitter.
Oting village in Mon district, the scene of the December 4th botched operation of the Indian security forces that left 13 civilians dead has issued a statement giving accounts of the event that shook the country. A statement from the Oting citizen was received on December 8th. The statement also appealed to the media to not be biased and twist the issue but to rely on this statement. The village has warned that the headhunting days may soon make a comeback, although the target and enemy may vary this time. This is what the villagers have stated and I quote from the statement. We may be small and tiny in area and population, yet we are ready to compromise with situations to lose our heads and take enemies' heads. For we are warriors by blood and origin and no forces can intimidate us. You have just witnessed how we stood against your most sophisticated automatic weapons and arms. We missed by an inch in obtaining one of your heads. We fall today, but we will rise again within no time. Giving accounts of the fateful evening, the statement said that it was about 3.30 p.m. when one pickup truck carrying eight miners and daily wagers were returning from a mining site. At about 4.30, the security force ambushed the truck without ascertaining anything about the passengers. The villagers thought they had a shootout with insurgents, the statement said. They then blocked the road for all vehicular movements and diverted the vehicles to take a less frequented road called the Old Pioneer Road, the statement said. The villagers were anxiously waiting for the truck for they learned about the firing in the location the vehicle went, it stated. The villagers informed the administration about the situation. It was about 8 p.m. that the villagers could not wait any longer and therefore went in search of the boys in the pickup truck. They found the empty truck with bullets exactly on the driver's position, indicating that they first shot the driver to halt it and ambush the others point blank, the statement said. The villagers then chased three fleeing vehicles of the army and overtook them. At first, they denied any knowledge of the boys traveling in a pickup truck. At this, the villagers started searching their vehicles. Then on the third vehicle, they found the security force personnel seated atop a tarpaulin that covered the floor of the vehicle and it was an, under it were six half-dressed boys who were found lying dead. The secur security forces attempted to brand the boys as militants by planting weapons and dressing them with camouflage, uniforms and boots, the statement said. Soon the situation turned into a heated argument that led to a physical confrontation between the two sides. Then all of a sudden the security personnel opened fire indiscriminately killing and injuring more on the spot, the statement said. The statement said that the unarmed villagers tried escaping from the security personnel. The village stated that those hiding under a machine were also killed. The village has announced that henceforth the people are voting bar all groups and parties of various factions and the Indian Armed Forces indefinitely. From the Oting area, including Lower Tiru, the people of Oting shall not be held responsible in any matter for whatsoever happens in the future due to violation of this directive, the village statements added. The Cognac Union has informed that a committee will be set up to interact with media persons regarding the 4th and 5th December incidents. No other individuals will be allowed to interact with media except for the committee members, the union informed. Further, the union reiterated that the media and the press will be restricted from going to Oting Village in order to stop twisting the truth. The Cognac Union added that they will organize a common press media conference at Mon instead. लोकल मीडिया ना हो ना नेशनल मीडिया हाथ में शायद है ना 
তো তাহানকে রেস্ট্রিক্ট করলে আছে না আর এই এই ইনফরমেশন কীটা পাব এই কমিটি ফর্ম করে ওকে Indian security forces held candlelight vigil in commemorating commemoration of Konyak brothers who were slain on December 4th at the private bus stand in Mon Town today. During the program, short speeches were delivered by presidents of Konyak Union, Mon Unit, KNSU, Mon Unit and MASU. Reverend Talim prayed for the departed souls. Let's have a look at the report. Mitsupima Village and Town Students Union organized a candlelight vigil to show their solidarity to the victims and also condemn the incident of the December 4th where 14 civilians were killed at Oting Village, Mon District. Ruze Kate, MTMK General Secretary, in her speech stated, Friends of the Hill People should be changed to enemy of the Hill People. Let us get more details from our reporter, Krikri Sinyo. Sunday, oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. Monitor the Medzi Pema Town Nea Hinesi, Aru Aji, itu December 4 la incident do condemn Kuri Wole, Aru Muria Hanke, Kun Kun Tahana Life Yere, December 4 incident at Tahana Life Harishi, Tahanke Remember Kuri Na, Ekta Candlelight Vigil, Ekta Organized Kuri Shia. Aru itu Candlelight Vigil to Kun Ra Organized Kuri Shia Kule, Medzi Pema Town, Aru Village Students Union Kan Ra Organized Kuri Shia, Aru Tahan, কুন কুন খারা কুইনে কথা কুইছে তান বিশি বি তো আফসপা তো রিপিল কুইলে ডিমান্ড কুইছে ইতু একলাই নহয় হইলে বি মেজি ফেমা টাউন উইমেন অর্গানাইজেশন লা প্রেসিডেন্ট রা ইতু ফ্রেন্ডস অফ দ্য হিল পিপল ইনা কই থাকে আর আসাম রাইফেল খান হইলি ফ্রেন্ডস অফ দ্য হিল পিপল না হইনা তান ইতু এনিমি অফ দ্য হিল পিপল ইনা কইনে স্টেটমেন্ট দাও গরে তাবি দিছে তো আমি খান টেরোরিস্ট আছে না তা খান টেরোরিস্ট আছে ইন্ডিয়ান আর্মি টেরোরিস্ট আছে না আমি খান টেরোরিস্ট আছে ইদা টেরোরিস্ট খান আমি লাগা ভাবা না দেখলে তো টেরোরিস্ট খান মিশা মিশি মানুকে দুঃখ দেওয়া খান মানু মিশা মিশি মানুকে মারে খান একু গালি না থাকি কিনা এত হঙ্গে টেরোরিস্ট কব নাকি সো শুড বি কল দ্য ইন্ডিয়ান আর্মিস এস দ্য টেরোরিস্ট 
my dear Mr. Pama, area like a man. I can I get a good idea. I get a Joma Grina attack in the light July. Of course, we are showing our solidarity, but I get a bullet. Aji Oting does it, Aji Mon does it. Aji Amihana Konya brothers can face present. Kali Mesi Pamade Hoa, Kali Pi Pamade Hoa, Kali Rosa Pamade Hoa. Amigan Kidia Hoa. Let's think about those innocent lives. Ekta Bostibra, Ekta Jagar, Ekta Tribe Laga. Nijalaga family ekta babi dujun murialaga. Let's think about that. Aji ami khan, amma khan, maiki khan. Bacha jonong kuri na murai di bolle jonong kure na hoydo. Ami khan ki man mondo kuri na gorbi tori buhiyase. Ami khan gorbi tori buhi ki na parthana kuri thakilbi. Na punchi ki na thakya do. Aji punchi jaise press the Lord. Mezi Pema Village Student Union, Town Student Union, Miligene in a Kakuripola sec when a Ajipuzer it took a Borhunyadu. Press the law in a Kahupola I, on behalf of the student community and the general public, voice against the Armed Forces Special Power Act. Armed Forces Special Power Act it to do. Amagan Naga Manula Matibra Naga inhabited areas wara Hatai di Wolage it to Indian Central Government give it to appeal Kuri Jesse. Moy reporter Kikrisi Nyukiho with camera person Johnson for Horn Beauty. The Sumi Hoho and its frontal organizations, including the Su Sumi Kukami Hoho and the Sumi Kipimi Kukakulu, accompanied by church leaders of the Sumi Baptist Akukuhu. Kukakulu as, as back, Nito Mount visited Mon Town on December 8 to meet with the families of civilians who were killed by Indian security forces and to express solidarity with the Konyak people, according to updates on sep December 8. The team had a meeting with the Konyak Union and its frontal organizations and expressed strong resentment over the ambush on December 4th at Oting village of Mon district where innocent daily wage earners were killed by Indian security force personnel. The visiting team conveyed its solidarity and assured every support to the Konyak people during these troubled times, the updates said. The Sumi Hoho, Sumi Kukami Hoho and the SBAK also extended financial support to the victims' families through the Konyak Union, the update stated. Civil Society Collision on Human Rights in Manipur and United Nations has urged the government of Manipur to join other Northeastern chief ministers in pressing for the repeal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Talking exclusively to Hornbill TV, Executive Director of Human Rights, Alert Manipur, Bablu Loitang Bam, said that Oting Massacre is not an isolated incident, but it is yet another manifestation of the consistent pattern of atrocities committed by the Indian military deployed under the Armed Forces Special Powers Act in the Northeast region for more than half a century. Unfortunately, this is not uh, an exception. It has become the pattern for the last 63 years of Armed Forces Special Powers Act in the Naga areas and the Northeast uh, region of this country. Um, we have seen massacres after massacres, uh, but unfortunately, so long as the accountability is not established for these kind of heinous crimes, this crime will continue to happen. Uh, we have seen the Malo massacre, which have triggered Iram Sharmila to go for 16 years of hunger strike. All the official commissions and committees that are set up to look into the Armed Forces Special Powers Act have come to one conclusion. This law needs to be repealed. All the treaty bodies, special rapporteurs, UN, 
universal periodic review proceedings have all come to the same conclusion that this law is a draconian law that violates the most basic and fundamental human rights that is enshrined universally for all human beings under the Universal Declaration on Human Rights. This law clearly violates Article 21, the right to life of a citizen, which is the core of the core rights. Unfortunately, despite of all this voices of sanity, till date, the Indian state refused to repeal the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. If the farm laws can be repealed because of the protest of the farmers, why not the Armed Forces Special Powers Act should be repealed because the entire Northeast Kashmir and people the, in the United Nations human rights experts, all the judges who have chaired the commissions and committees of the government's own review mechanisms have all come to one conclusion that this is a lawless law. The sooner this law is consigned to the flames of history, the better it will be for the future of Indian democracy and for the ordinary people of Northeast India who have suffered this for three generations. Uh, Tamo, do you think all the, uh, all the ministers of Northeastern states to make a unanimous statement that the, this draconian act should be removed? We are very encouraged by the statement that has come out from the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, the Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya. We are expecting similar calls will come from other sister states in the Northeast. But we are shocked and surprised by the silence of the Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, who was once upon a time a uh, staunch supporter of uh, repeal ups far movement. That is how he built his political career. Today, he's maintaining a stoic silence and his silence is very, very loud. We expect that he should now come out, champion the cause of the repeal of APSFA and we want uh, the central government to also understand that unless and until this kind of discriminatory treatments are, 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 are done away with, the people of Northeast will not sit quiet and we will, the voice of the people of Northeast for their most basic and fundamental human rights will continue to ring loud and clear nationally and internationally. The very important meeting of the core committee on the Naga political issue will be held in Kohima on Thursday. Sources in the know of things said on Wednesday, adding Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma will attend the meeting. The NSC and IM is the largest Naga group that had signed a framework agreement with the center in 2015 to end the decade old in, decades old insurgency in Nagaland. However, it later said that it would not execute the agreement until the Modi government accepted the Naga people's demand for a separate constitution and flag. The center rejected the demands and instead offered alternatives such as a separate flag for cultural activities which the group refused to accept thereby putting the accord in limbo. The Modi government however is now uncertain if the accord will be signed anytime soon, sources said. That's all for the news. I'm Esther. Keep watching Hornbill TV.